Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm going to do an update on the hummingbirds. It's getting dark right now. I thought this would be a perfect time to do it. Look at this. This little guy was sitting two inches from me. Let me explain what's going on. Some people have asked and I had said, I, gee, I think some of them had left, but they actually a lot of them have not left because, well, I was going through three to four gallons of formula I make a day and it's dropped down so I'm not going past three gallons a day so I thought they left but now what I realize is they really haven't gone far at all what they're doing is what they're supposed to do by nature now it's spring and as you can see you've got an orange tree there well it's got blossoms and everything and there's flowers everywhere I see them in the garden they are gathering nectar all over the place. There are nests everywhere. They are nesting and having babies. We've got one on our garage. So as you can see, they're coming in right now. I'm gonna back up in a second and leave them be. You've got multiple feeders here. You've got multiple feeders on the other window. You've got multiple feeders on the deck and then they're all around the garden. So they're now feeding naturally in the garden. What I also do is you see the Christmas lights? Sometimes if I think they're really feeding heavily and maybe there's so many they may not be able to eat before the sun goes down, I turn on the Christmas lights and I just leave them. And a lot of times I leave it all night because a lot of them get here and start feeding at 5, 5.30 in the morning. So, see there, he's picking through the flowers right now. I don't know if you can see that down there. Isn't that cool? So that's what I like to do. I've had a couple people say they've had them feeding at night. That means they didn't gather enough food and they were forced to look for a feeder in the evening even though they cannot see. Now here, I've had a couple that I've seen late in the evening as it's dark, but as you can see, I've got an orange tree here, very thick orange, actually there's a few orange trees here, and then the hibiscus. They sleep in these trees. They'll sleep in a lot of different trees. By sleeping in the trees here, if there was a problem, if they were struggling, and there's a lot of young ones around learning you know, how to feed, then they could come up here, which is just a matter of a couple yards, grab some food and go back into the trees here. So it's not like they're flying far in the dark and with Christmas lights here, they can see. So we have, I'm gonna say thousands of hummingbirds here, but they are feeding all over. They've been feeding even on the stucco of the house. It is just adorable how they come here and they go through the stucco. You know how the stucco's got those little crevices and the wrinkles through the, the, the stucco? Well, they'll find tiny little insects that we can't even see and they will pick through and gather insects and probably a lot of those are females looking for insects to feed their babies because remember they eat pollen they eat insects and of course they eat nectar from flowers those are the three things they eat so by coming to your feeders as they are here right now and they don't like me sitting right here a lot of them because they don't all know me in the window they want to come gather and eat but they're at the other feeders right now this is not their only food source. This is giving them water, though they do drink water and do take baths all over the garden. They are getting part of their food source here. Now, giving them nectar, which is a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar mixed with one cup of water, that would help them to survive if they couldn't find insects. If the land was cleared so much that they just could not find enough insects, this would help them to survive at least until they can find more things that they need because they need the protein. Do you see this little guy right here? He is six inches from me. Six inches, not counting the other ones too that are here. So they do need our help. Now, I've had some people say, stop feeding them. Let Mother Nature, or actually they say, let God feed them. Here's the thing. God gave me the ability to figure this out and help them. Just like doctors who help people that are sick, if I can figure out how to help them to survive and help them to find food in their crisis of need, and it is, a lot of times that is the problem. They can't find enough food because there's been so many things like weed abatement and people making more cement yards and not having as many plants so they don't have to take care of it. 
and of course clearing hillsides and building homes and apartments and construction and with all kinds of buildings, that takes away all the foliage that they used to feed on. The weeds, the weeds have a lot of flowers. So what I'm doing is helping them. If they don't want it, they won't come and get it. If they find enough, they will just gather what they can find. But they're coming here because they can't find enough. And that is the reason they're coming here. If they found enough, believe you me, they wouldn't be here. So they're not finding enough. And they've also found the place that they know their peace of mind that if they don't find enough, they know where to go to get it. So with that, I hope I've given you, you know, a little bit of thought of why I feed them and why it's good for whoever can feed them, feed them. So let's help these little guys out because, you know, truthfully, they have anywhere from two to four nests. And the reason they have so many nests is because without our help, really, a lot of them simply do not survive. But yes, I guess we're helping more to survive. But, you know, the strong ones will move on and they'll migrate. They'll go different places. And that's a good thing. So with that, well, I'm going to step away from the window and I'm going to let them feed. And have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.